Welcome back. Hope you're having a great day today. Even if things aren't going that well, I guarantee you this is going to put a smile on your face and make things a whole lot better once you see what we have jam packed into the new super duper huge update known as version 1.5.5. Now you may notice that actually I made the U in update a different color. The reason is, is quite honestly, without you, our loyal fans and customers, most of these updates wouldn't even be possible. And that sounds kind of cheesy, but it is true, 100%. All these suggestions we get from you, comments, feedback, even at the help desk, asking for even crazy things that would make your life easier, make things better for you. We do go through all of your suggestions, have huddle meetings, and what you're seeing here today is a result of the feedback you're giving us. So keep those comments coming in. It really fuels and drives our development and sets the direction for Sketch Wow. And what you're going to see here is really the crystallization of a lot of these ideas you've been talking about and suggesting to us over the past few weeks and past few months. So yes, this is a huge update. Quite honestly, I'm, I'm worried about forgetting to mention everything that I want to cover with you today in this short video. So without further ado, let's jump in here and go through what you can expect when you download and install version 1.5. Point five. Let me go and maybe minimize the menu here so we have a bit more real estate because as you can see there's a lot going on here, right? I put a lot of different visuals here to explain kind of what is happening. And just so you know, fun fact, all these icons you see here are available in SketchWow standard. I know some of you sometimes comment and say you're using the pro version. What does the standard version include? Well, what I'm showing you here today is all within SketchWow standard. If you're using SketchWow Pro, there's a lot more bells and whistles, icons and assets and templates available for you there. Okay, so let's go through this and try to make some sense of it, okay? So scrolling down here, you notice that I've got a little checklist here of some of the things we've added to version 1.5.5. Uh, first of all, lock. You can now lock elements on the canvas or if you want to put a background image or a photo as a backdrop on the canvas, you can lock that so it will not move. And I'll show you how that works in a second here. Also, added a bunch of new icons and what you're seeing here in front of you is some of the new icons you can expect when you go and download the new version 1.5.5. And we'll go through those in a minute. Also, now it's easier to get images into SketchWow. Before, you had to drag and drop an image onto the canvas. Quite honestly, a lot of people were confused. They didn't think we supported you adding images or photos or animated GIFs to SketchWow. And of course, nothing could be further from the truth. So now we're going to give you a few more options on how to get your favorite images or icons right into SketchWow so you can use them in your designs, in your sketches, in your animations and so forth, right? Uh, again, it was a huge, huge source of, um, of comments we got about how do I add my own images to SketchWow. Also, we made it easier to navigate around the canvas here. I mean, obviously this image I'm showing you here is quite large. And uh, if you just click your space bar now on your keyboard, you see how it changes to little hand? You can go and move around. I mean, obviously this is not a very large image, but it just gives you the ability, like you've seen in other type of applications, where you can just click space, navigate around, and it makes it easy to kind of take somebody through a, a massive canvas, almost like in a presentation. You go from one side, slide to the other, pan around, and have some fun with it, and it just makes it easier to navigate around the canvas, okay? So let's talk about the lock function. Number one here on the list, right? I'm gonna go to my second tab here and give you an example how this works. Real simple, and this can be done with any element within SketchWow, or if you wanna bring in your own images or photos, use those as a background or lock them onto the canvas, anything goes, okay? Here's how it works. You basically click on the actual element, you right click, and you'll notice here now we have a lock option here. Also, there's keyboard shortcuts for those of you that use keyboards. Uh, very, very handy, saves a lot of time. We click on that, the lock symbol there, now we can't move it, okay? These guys can be moved around, but this guy can't. Now, what gets more cool is you can lock various elements on the canvas just to make it easier to navigate around when you're adding things, working with different layers, you know, which can be a little bit um, tricky sometimes, right? I can also go here and create a group out of all these and you notice now, 
what's cool is that I can independently move all these items around where this locked element stays in, in put, right? Also, I can go in here, change this around, move it around. I can go in here, change this around, move it up here, right? All kinds of cool stuff. You already know about this probably. And when I'm done, once again, I cannot move that locked element, okay? If you wanna unlock it, real simple, go back here. You go on uh, unlock. Now we're back in business and now we have our group still intact, but that element is now unlocked. So I can already tell your mind is probably just spinning with ideas. Uh, this is gonna save you a lot of frustration and time, especially when working with more complex designs. We've got all kinds of layers and images on top of other images and you click on something and it moves and it wasn't supposed to move. You know what I mean, right? So this feature, allows you to lock things down and just to make it easier to, to work with more you know, complex designs. And once again, you can use uh, a background image, lock that down, and then it won't move around as you're moving other things around on the canvas, okay? So that was a big one that uh, we've been hearing for quite some time. I'm happy we finally added that. Icons. We've added some really nifty icons. Uh, we're very inspired by sketch notes and, and handmade drawing and that sort of thing. So little little icons like this, the little hand symbol we added. That little airplane is new. These little squiggly lines here are new. Um, this to encourage, you know, hearing or listening or paying attention, added that. This little nav icon here, added that one. The little kind of the sponge hand, if you will. We added that in there. Um, the Swiss Army knife has been added. This hand has been added. This here for vision or for, you know, for seeing things clearly. Uh, there's a whole bunch of images we added here and, and just to make this more fun to give you more options and just to be able to explain and explore and really use these elements you know sparingly within any sketches and designs you create within sketch wow so those are waiting for you right now in version 1.5.5 you can dive in and explore them and use them and to really again give you more color in terms of how you express yourself using sketch wow also out of these cool little cute um, headshot figures here, especially handy with speech bubbles where obviously their mouth is kind of open, so they're talking. So you're going to communicate something or accent a speech bubble with you know some text to stand out. You can definitely start using these as well within Sketchwell. So a lot of cool things packed into the software. Also, we added a few more templates. Those are waiting for you as well in the software, okay? Now, I want to kind of just talk a bit about how we handle images in the software because as I said, this has been a bit of a head scratcher. A new customers join and they ask us, oh, I can't believe I can't add images into Sketch Wow. Well, you can, it's just, we admit it's not as maybe intuitive for some people as it should be. So right now there's only one method to add images into Sketch Wow. You basically go and just open up File Explorer or your Finder if you're a Mac person and you drag and drop your image right into a Sketch Wow. I'll show you how to do that in a second here. Give me one sec. So I'm gonna drag an image here from Finder on my Mac over. You can see it there, you can see it there. Oh, and boom. All right, a uh, little uh, humor for you here in the middle of the afternoon. And of course, you can use this as normal, any way you want to, within your sketches, within Sketch Wow. So that was the only way you could add images to the canvas. Now, there's a few other ways. You may have noticed on the left here, we do have an add image icon, which just makes it blatantly more obvious that you can use that to add an image, browse your folders on your hard drive. And I mean, again, it's a simple function, but long overdue makes it a lot easier. There's now a third option, which again is something we've been hearing again and again. And let me show you how this works. Now you can go to any website anywhere and simply you know, right click use the copy command and paste that right into sketch wow let me pause the video show exactly how that works now so here i am in google i'm going to do a search for a big gorilla i'm actually clicking on creative commons license so that we can use these images otherwise you could get into trouble I'm not a lawyer don't play one on tv but just to warn you you can't just grab images and use them in your commercial works you need to be safe about that so big gorilla icon you see what we got here all right, now this looks kind of cool. So you can simply go here, right click, and go copy image. Let's go back over to Sketch Wow. You can actually right click, paste image, and wow, there it is, right? Of course, if I was using a PNG image, 
with a transparent background even better. But I hope you're kind of getting the idea here. You can just go hog wild and any site that you can use. Uh, you can find images and right click, copy, paste them in here. It just saves you a lot of time. So as I said before, three options now. Drag and drop onto the canvas, use the handy dandy add image icon here, or just go to your favorite sites or do a commercial use rights search on Google, right click, copy, paste, and away you go, okay? So I hope that kind of gives you an idea of some of the, the major features we've added into the software here. We've also made a bunch of enhancements behind the scenes just to really improve things, make it easier to uh, use the software, make it faster. Uh, and those are things I won't bore you with, but I hope you're excited about this new update because again, there's a lot of new icons waiting for you here uh, in the software, uh, new assets, new templates, and of course, the features I've shown you here today. So once again, folks, keep those suggestions coming in. We appreciate them. I uh, will try our best to get more of your great suggestions into the next version of SketchWow. In the meanwhile, don't forget to like and subscribe so this way you'll be updated with future videos like this since we know that email and other methods of communication are becoming increasingly unreliable. Uh, we're going to sign off for today. Thanks again. Have yourself a great day and we hope you enjoy this new update version 1.5.5.